Hello friends and my dear students, myself Madhu Vancha, Assistant Professor of Microbiology. Welcome to my channel. Today we will be discussing Telangana State Public Service Commission Lab Technician Grade 2 67 by 2017 Notification Question Paper with Answers. First question, which of the following is the most common fungal disease in the humans? Options are typhoid, second one is crept typhus, leptospirosis and candidiasis. The answer is candidiasis. If you see typhoid, it is caused by a salmonella, it is caused by salmonella typhi that is a bacterium. Scrub typhus, it is caused by rickettsia species that is transmitted by, by the bite of arthropod as a vector. Leptospirosis, it is caused by leptospira bacteria. And if you see candidiasis, candidiasis, it is a fungal infection. It causes uh, infections of uh, mucocutaneous candidiasis, such as oral thrush, valvovaginal candidiasis, and cutaneous candidiasis, urinary tract infections, intestinal and pulmonary candidiasis, meningitis. The answer is candidiasis. Next, second question, choose the correct match. First one, insulin and Wilson's disease. Second one, copper and glucose. Third one, EDTA and anticoagulant. D, ALP bone test. So the answer is C and D. That is EDTA is a anticoagulant and ALP for bone. So we'll see uh, this answer. If you see first one, uh, Wilson's disease. So what is Wilson's disease? It is a rare inherited disorder that causes copper to accumulate in the liver, brain and other vital organs. And if you see insulin, what is insulin? It is a hormone which is produced by pancreas. And what insulin do? It control the amount of glucose in the bloodstream. So insulin, and Wilson's disease, it's not a correct match. If you see EDTA, what is EDTA? That is ethylene diamine tetraestic acid. It is an anticoagulant. So what is the mechanism of action? It inhibits clotting by removing or chelating calcium from the blood. The advantage of EDTA is it doesn't disorder to blood cells and it make ideal for most of the hematological tests. And ALP, what is ALP? ALP is alkaline phosphate, that is bone ALP. It is an ectoenzyme which is produced on the outer surface of cell membrane of osteoblasts. It is partly released into circulation, that is bone ALP and liver ALP Bone ALP and liver ALP constitute about 95% of total ALP activity in human serum. If ALP levels are high and the results of liver tests are normal, the problem may be with the bone disorder. So here the correct options are EDTA, anticoagulant, that is C, and uh, ALP, that is alkaline phosphate levels, uh, that is for bone uh, disorders to identify the bone disorders. So the correct answer is C and D. Next, third question, which test is used to identify candida albicans? A, coagulus test, 
B. Catalyst test. C. Germ tube test. And D. Oxidase test. Here the answer is germ tube test. If you see coagulase test, catalase test, and oxidase test, these tests are used to identify the bacteria. But if you see a germ tube test, it is used to identify the like uh, candida albicans. So what is germ tube test? Uh, candida albicans. It has ability to form the germ tubes within the two hours when they are incubated in human serum at thirty seven degrees centigrade. What are germ tubes? Germ tubes are long tube like projections extending from the yeast cells. So how to do this uh, germ tube test? First of all, uh, take zero point five ml of sheep or human serum into a small tube, and in the next step, using a pasture pipette, touch the fungal colony and gently emulsify it in the serum, and incubate the tube at thirty seven degrees centigrade for two to four hours, and after that, transfer a drop of serum onto a slide. For examination, cover slip, and examine microscopically under low power and high power objectives, uh, so that we can see the germ tubes. So these are finger like uh, long tube like projections. So the answer is germ tube test. Next fourth question: Hormone used to detect the pregnancy. Option A: Growth hormone. option b thyroid hormone option c fsh and option d hcg the answer is hcg but before going to discuss uh, this hcg we will discuss with other hormones also so what is growth hormone so growth hormone it is also called as somatotropin or human growth hormone this is a, a peptide hormone it is secreted by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland it is stimulate the growth of essentially all tissues of the body including the bones and next thyroid hormone so thyroid hormone controls body's metabolism it is released by thyroid gland thyroid releases two main hormones that is thyroxine t4 and triiodothyronine t4 Uh, collectively they make up the thyroid hormone next fsh what is uh, fsh that is follicle stimulating hormone it is released by pituitary gland it plays an important role in the sexual development and functioning see in the women fsh it control the menstrual cycle and uh, stimulate the growth of x in the ovaries and in case of men the fsh it control the production of sperm and in children the fsh levels are low until the puberty uh, in girls it helps to uh, signal the ovaries to make the estrogen in boys uh, this hormone helps to signal the testes to make testosterone Uh, why fsh uh, is done uh, what is the purpose of fsh so it is used to find out the cause of infertility in the women and to find out the problem with ovarian function and to find out the reason for irregular or stopped menstrual periods and fsh test is done in men uh, to find out the cause of infertility and to find out low sperm count and uh, to find out problem with the testicles in children uh, it is used to diagnose early or delayed puberty and if you see uh, hcg hormone uh, what is hcg human chorionic gonadotropin hormone it is produced by placenta during the pregnancy it is sometimes called as the pregnancy hormone uh, because of its uh, role in supporting pregnancy see uh, hcg it is found in urine or blood around 10 to 11 days of the conception hcg levels are the highest towards uh, the end of the first trimester then uh, they decline for the rest of the pregnancy here 
answer is D, that is HCG hormone. Next, choose the correct match. First one, A, glycolysis, multiple myeloma, LDL, bad cholesterol, CKMB, myocardial infraction, M band, ATP. So these are the options. Uh, first one, A only. And second, A and D only. Third one, B and C only. And fourth one, D only. So here the answer is B and C, that is LDL, bad cholesterol, and CKMB, myocardial infraction. What is glycolysis? Glycolysis is a metabolic pathway which convert glucose into pyruvate. Next, multiple myeloma. So what is multiple myeloma? Multiple myeloma is a cancer of plasma cells. Uh, in this case, uh, there is excessive production of particular immunoglobulins. And next, LDL. What is LDL? That is low density lipoprotein so LDL, it is also called as bad cholesterol. Uh, it make up the most of the body's cholesterol. High levels of LDL uh, indicates the risk of heart diseases and stroke. Next, CKMB. What is CKMB? That is creatinine kinase MB. So this is the enzyme which is mainly found in heart muscle. And it is a cardiac marker. Uh, this is CKMB test is used to diagnose of acute myocardial infection, myocardial ischemia, and myocarditis. Uh, normal level of a CKMB in between 3 to 5 percentage. And next, M protein. What is this M protein or M band? That is myeloma protein. It is associated with multiple myeloma cancer. So the answer is here B and C. Option 3. Next, choose the correct match showing the biochemical reactions of Escherichia coli. A. Indole positive. B. Citrate positive. C. Urease positive. D. TSA. A by A. So here the options are first one A and D only. Second one, B only. Third one, B and C only. And fourth one, C only. What is indole test? See, the uh, indole test, it is done to determine the ability of an organism to decompose amino acid tryptophan into indole. Tryptophan it is decomposed by an enzyme called as tryptophanase, which is produced by certain bacteria. So Escherichia coli, it is always indole positive organism. And next, citrate test. So what is citrate test? Citrate test, uh, it is the ability of an organism to utilize citrate as a sole source of carbon for its growth with the result in the alkalinity. Here, Escherichia coli citrate negative organism. Next, urease test. So what is urease test? It is the ability of an organism to produce an enzyme called as urease, which splits urea to ammonia. So ammonia, it makes medium alkaline so that a uh, phenol red indicator changes to pink or red in the color. So Escherichia coli, it is urease negative organism. So C is not the correct answer. And B is also not the correct answer. Next, TSI uh, agar test, that is triple sugar iron agar test. So what is the principle of TSI test? It is to determine the ability of an organism to attack uh, specific carbohydrate which is incorporated in a growth medium with or without the production of gas 
along with the determination of possible hydrogen sulfide production. So TSA test positive. So the answer is A and D. Next, seventh question. The serum should be separated at the earliest time for estimation of glucose because the glucose value decreases with the time. Second option causes lysis of the sample. Third one, glucose value increases double at the time. And fourth one, glucose value increases with the time. Here the answer is glucose value decreases with the time. Next, the anticoagulant used for the collecting sample for blood glucose. Option A, heparin. Option B, EDTA. Option C, citrate. D, fluoride or oxalate. The right answer is fluoride or oxalate. C, glucose. Uh, to do the like uh, blood glucose uh, test, generally we use uh, anticoagulant fluoride or oxalate. Uh, glucose is one of the most frequently measured analytics in the laboratories. So most of the recent studies on glucose, it is stability, glucose stabilities confirm that the sodium fluoride or potassium oxalate tube is far uh, from the gold standard test. So what this fluoride to do, it inhibits analogs which is far down stream in the glycolytic pathway, enzyme upstream of enolose remain active and continue to metabolize glucose until the substrate are exhausted. So that's what fluoride or oxalate are used as the anticoagulants. Next, ninth question. The microscope which is used to identify syphilis is option A, dark field microscope, option B, ultraviolet microscope, option C, light microscope, option D, phase contrast microscope. Here the answer is dark field microscope. Syphilis is caused by a bacterium called as Tryponema pellidum. It is a spirochiate. See, Tryponema pellidum, it doesn't take any ordinary bacterial stains and it cannot be seen under the light microscope also because uh, it is very thin and a delicate structure. So because of uh, thinness of spirals, uh, it cannot be seen under the light microscope. So to uh, observe uh, this syphilis or uh, to observe this spirochiate, uh, we should go for dot field microscopy. So for this, uh, the surface of canker is cleaned with a saline. A drop of exudate is collected on a slide by applying gentle pressure at the base of the lesion. Then the wet film is covered with a cover slip and uh, examine it under dark ground microscopy. Here, the triponema pellidum, it appears as slender spiral organism showing rotational as well as flexion and extension movements. Dark field examination, it should be repeated on three consecutive days before declaring it as negative. Next, which one of the following organism is always oxidase positive? Option A, Klebsiella. Option B, Staphylococcus aureus. C, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Option D, Escherichia coli. Here, the answer is Pseudomonas aeruginosa.
what is the principle of oxidase test this oxidase test done uh, to determine the presence of an enzyme that is called as cytochrome oxidase which catalyzes the oxidation of reduced cytochrome by molecular oxygen so how to perform this oxidase test so first of all uh, take the freshly prepared solution of 1% tetramethyl paraphenylene diamino diamine dihydrochloride which is uh, generally called as oxidase reagent so there are uh, two different methods are there uh, so we can take a filter paper strip which is soaked in the oxidase reagent and uh, it is smeared with the test organism in case of positive reaction so it is uh, immediately torn into deep purple color and in case of negative so there is no color change and uh, another method is so directly pour the oxidase agent on the surface of colonies and if the colonies become purple within 10 to 30 seconds uh, sorry 10 to 30 minutes so it is uh, oxidase positive so in case of negative reaction uh, there is no color change so pseudomonas aerogenase is always oxidase positive organism next expansion of naco so what is uh, naco the options are a new aids control organization option b national aids control organization option c national aid control organization option d national aids secret organ so here the answer is national aids control organization what is naco naco is the nodal organization for national aids response in the ministry of health and family medicine national aids control program is a fully founded central sector scheme implemented through state and ut aids control societies in states and uts and closely monitored through district aids prevention and control unit next question the equipment used for cutting sections option a hemoglobinometer option b microtome option c hemocytometer option d microscope here the answer is microtome so what is microtome so microtome it is a specialized precision cutting instrument which accurately and repeatedly slices section from a block of embedded tissue and if you see hemoglobinometer so hemoglobinometer is used to measure uh, hb concentration in the blood hemoglobin concentration in the blood hemocytometer uh, it is a counting chamber it is used for counting the blood cells so as you know microscope uh, it is the instrument used to examine the objects uh, which are too small to be seen by the naked eye so the answer is microtome next bacterial toxin in the blood called as option a anemia option b uremia option c septicemia and option d uta so the answer is septicemia so the uh, here answer is very simple so anemia is the decreasing of hb percentage or loss of blood and uh, uremia means increased levels of urea and other nitrogenous waste in the blood and uh, uti means urinary tract infection so this is not a answer so the right answer is septicemia that is uh, presence of bacterial toxin in the blood stream next question iron deficiency result in option a macrocytic anemia option b sickle cell anemia option c microcytic hypochromic anemia option d 
pernicious anemia so the right answer microcytic hypochromic anemia so what is microcytic uh, hypochromic anemia so it is because of the like uh, uh, it is a condition that impairs the normal transport of iron in the cells and if you see pernicious anemia uh, it is due to vitamin b12 deficiency and uh, sickle cell anemia uh, it is a inherited disorder and in sickle cell anemia the shape of red blood cells uh, are changed so they become sickle in the shape and macrocytic anemia so it is also a blood disorder so whenever uh, the bone marrow abnormally produce large red blood cells next question the autoclave temperature is set at so as you know autoclave uh, it is used uh, in the mosfet method of sterilization that is temperature above 100 degree centigrade so the right answer 121 degree centigrade for 15 lb pressure for 15 minutes so the sterilization is carried out at 121 degree centigrade for 15 minutes uh, at 15 lb pressure next question a range for specific gravity of normal urine option a 1.0102 1.028 option b 1.0052 1.030 option c 1.0252 1.030 option d 1.0042 1.010 here the right answer is 1.0052 1.030 next dwarf tapeworm is options are a hamenolepsi nana option b tinea solium option c tinea sarcinata option d diphyllidium canium so here the answer is hymenolepis nana so this is uh, popularly called as dwarf type worm and if you see tinea solium uh, the common name is pork type worm and tinea sarcinata common name is beef type worm and uh, diphyllidium canium uh, it is Uh, popularly called as cucumber tapeworm or flea tapeworm next in case of multiple myeloma option a alpha option b z option c a and option d m so in case of multiple myeloma immunoglobulin m levels are elevated Uh, so the right answer is option d m next hospital acquired infections otherwise called as a focal infection b primary infection c nosocomial infection d reinfection so the answer is nosocomial infection so what are hospital acquired infections so hospital acquired infections or uh, they are the infections which are developing in patients after admission to the hospital so what are uh, nosocomial infections so these are the infections which are developing in patients after admission to the hospital so these infections uh, was neither present nor in the incubation period at the time of hospitalization next mekonkis agar is mainly used to identify a gram positive bacteria b hemolytic bacteria c gram positive cocci and d gram negative bacteria the right answer is gram negative bacteria if you see 
Mekong is other. It is a selective and a differential media. See, Mekong is other. It allows the growth of only gram-negative bacteria, uh, especially gram-negative bacilli. So this uh, based upon the lactose fermentation. So based upon the lactose fermentation, gram-negative bacilli they are classified into three types: lactose fermenters, non-lactose fermenters, and late lactose fermenters. So lactose fermenters uh, they produce pink color colonies on Mekong agar media, and non-lactose fermenters they produce clear or or colorless colonies on Mekong agar media, and late lactose fermenters they produce pink color colonies on prolonged incubation. Next, Wilson's disease is due to the accumulation of A, zinc, B, iron, C, iodine, and D, copper. So the right answer is copper. So we have discussed uh, this question already in the previous, uh, in the previous slides. So what is uh, Wilson's disease? So Wilson's disease is due to the accumulation of copper. So it is an inherited disorder, uh, which like uh, excessive copper is accumulated in the liver, brain, and other vital organs. So most of the people, uh, those who are having Wilson's disease, uh, they are diagnosed in between five to 35 years age. Uh, generally copper, it plays a major role in the development of healthy nerves, bones, collagen, and skin pigment melanin. Uh, normally, it is absorbed from the blood and excess is excreted through the substance produced in the liver, that is bile. But in people, uh, those who are having the like Wilson's disease, so copper, it is not eliminated properly. So instead, it is accumulate, uh, which leads to the like life-threatening complication. Uh, when it is diagnosed early, it is treatable. And most of the people uh, with this disorder, they live the normal life. Next, expansion of VDRL. Option A, venereal disease research limited. Option B, vein disease research laboratory. Option C, venereal disease real laboratory and option D, venereal disease research laboratory. So the right answer is D, that is venereal disease research laboratory test. So this VD or a laboratory, it is located in the New York city. So this test, it was first developed by VD or a laboratory. So that's what it is named as VD or a test. So it is used to identify the like a syphilis antigen. It is a slide flocculation test. Next, acid fast stain is used to identify A, gram positive bacilli, B, gram negative bacilli, C, fungal organism, and D, mycobacterium tuberculosis. So here, the right answer is mycobacterium tuberculosis. So generally, uh, either gram-positive or gram-negative bacilli, uh, they are identified by the gram staining only. So fungal organisms are identified by 10% KOH preparation or KOH with calcofluorite. But mycobacterium tuberculosis, it is uh, identified by using of acid foster staining. See, acid for staining, it was discovered by the scientist Paul Ehrlich and later it was modified by the scientist Jill and Nielsen. So what is the principle of acid for staining? So generally, uh, the acid foster of mycobacterium tuberculosis, it is due to high content of lipids, fatty acids and higher alcohols in the cell wall of the mycobacterium. Mycolic acid, it is a wax like substance. It is acid fast in the free state. It is found in all acid fast bacteria. And besides this lipid contents, 
acid fastness it also depends upon the integrity of the cell wall next the vacutainer tube which is used to collect serum is option a green top option b red top option c blue top option d purple top here the answer is green top next next question in hepatitis which enzyme activity will be increased a alt b ck c acp d ldh and the right answer is alt so what is alt that is alanine amine transferase so this enzyme it is mainly found in the liver and what it do it convert protein into energy for the liver cells so higher levels of alt that is increased levels of alt uh, it is a sign of liver damage this liver damage may be uh, from hepatitis infections cirrhosis of liver liver cancer and other liver diseases thank you uh, we will be discussing uh, the remaining answers in the next report thank you